several cars are involved. Looks like we might be one of the Ferraris. Susie. I love how Ron Howard describes this movie. A time when sex, sex was, was safe, safe and driving, driving was, was dangerous. dangerous. And that's the way Hunt lived. You know, a renowned ladies' man, a unrepentant playboy, and lived a rock and roll life. He was busy. Someone said 5,000 women. I don't know how. Who kept count of that? That's, <laughs> I think you'd lose count of a lot less than that. It was a period of sexual liberation. The sexual revolution generally is dated to be 1968. And Nicky and James met in 1970. So this was at a point where to be a Formula One driver, and because you might die tomorrow, you're going to live for today. Hunt crosses the line! Tell us, James, what are you going to do now? I shall be getting drunk. <laughs> Late 70s, it was happening. There was everybody, there was Bianca Jagger, there was everybody up to all sorts, and it was incredibly glamorous. And Hunt, I worked as a young makeup artist at the BBC, and we were all clamoring around the day he came in for sports programmes. You know, I actually saw him, and yeah, he was, we thought he was gorgeous. I try saying that and tell me you're not jealous. Welcome to Sao Paulo, Brazil, and the Interlagos circuit for the first race in the 1976 Formula One season. There's just an undeniable allure. It's akin to the Rolling Stones during that period going on the road. It's just city to city madness, and at the same time, true life and death situations. I'm very proud of Raj, and I'm also very proud of the way everyone committed themselves to trying to do a difficult thing, which was recreate a time that was dynamic, cool, and very unique. And it was a really exciting filmmaking journey, and I hope that finds its way through the screen to the audience. The closer you are to death, the more alive you feel. It's a wonderful way to live. It's the only way to drive.